San Juan Capistrano, a tranquil haven known for its historic mission, found itself grappling with an unspeakable tragedy. The peace of this tight-knit community was shattered by the horrific murders of a beloved elderly couple. The victims, longtime residents known for their warmth, were discovered in their home under gruesome circumstances. As news spread, a cloud of grief and fear descended upon San Juan Capistrano. The idyllic image of the town was irrevocably tarnished. The murders sent ripples of fear and uncertainty through the quiet streets. The tranquility that had long defined San Juan Capistrano was replaced with an unsettling unease. The sequence of events leading to the discovery of the murders and the subsequent arrest of Joseph Brandon Girdville unfolded with chilling clarity. It began with a call to the Orange County Sheriff's Department reporting a suspicious incident at the victim's residence. Deputies responded to the call, their hearts pounding with a sense of foreboding as they approached the house. Upon entering the home, they were met with a scene of unimaginable horror. The elderly couple, their lifeless bodies bearing the marks of a brutal attack, lay sprawled on the living room floor. Blood splattered on the walls and furniture painted a gruesome picture of the violence that had transpired within those walls. The deputies, hardened by years of experience, were visibly shaken by the sheer brutality of the crime. Their training kicked in, however, and they immediately secured the crime scene, preserving evidence and initiating a full-scale homicide investigation. As detectives meticulously combed through the crime scene gathering forensic evidence and interviewing potential witnesses, a name surfaced as a person of interest, Joseph Brandon Girdville. Girdville, known to have a history of drug-related problems and run-ins with the law, had a connection to the victims, although the exact nature of their relationship remained unclear. Armed with this information, detectives set out to locate Girdville, hoping to bring him in for questioning. Their search led them to a nearby motel where Girdville was found holed up in a room, seemingly disoriented and under the influence of narcotics. He was taken into custody without incident, his demeanor strangely calm and detached given the gravity of the situation. As Girdville was transported to the Orange County Jail, a sense of urgency gripped the investigation. Detectives worked tirelessly, piecing together the puzzle of what led to the tragic events of that fateful day. New and gruesome details about the murder of an elderly couple in San Juan Capistrano. Authorities said charged in the case. 41-year-old Joseph Brandon Girdville was shot by deputies as they struggled to take him into custody yesterday. Authorities say he's hospitalized in critical but stable condition. It was just unbelievable, you know? I saw Joseph arguing with his dad a few times, but never thought it would come to this. The whole neighborhood is in shock. Yeah, Joseph had his struggles, especially with drugs. We all knew he was troubled, but this, this is just heartbreaking. It's really shaken all of us to the core. As the community tried to make sense of the tragedy, emotions ran high. The once peaceful town of San Juan Capistrano was now a place of mourning and reflection. The loss of Ronald and Antoinette Girdville was felt deeply, not just by their family, but by everyone who knew them. The community came together, united in their grief, searching for solace and understanding in the face of such senseless violence. The tragedy served as a harsh reminder of the vulnerabilities that exist even in the most serene places and the importance of supporting one another through difficult times. Authorities began piecing together the events that led to the tragic deaths. Investigators combed through evidence, interviewed neighbors, and tried to understand the motive behind such a heinous act. The community watched closely, hoping for answers and justice. I never thought it would come to this. I was struggling, yeah, but I loved my parents. Joseph had always been a good kid. But things changed when he got mixed up with the wrong crowd. We tried to help him, but the addiction, it just took over his life. We never stopped loving him though, never. As the investigation continued, the community sought solace and demanded justice for Ronald and Antoinette Girdville. Vigils were held and people came together, united in their grief and determination. The search for answers and accountability pressed on, 
with everyone hoping for closure and a sense of peace.